So it is currently a wait Friday night slash Saturday morning. I've decided to react to the wrestling to be fair because it is the 20th anniversary of Smackdown whatever it is. I, I haven't reacted to a wrestling event in a while and I know this will be good because I know a fair few legends that are going to be on it so I may as well record a few. I think that video will already be up or it'll be after this. So yeah let's see what that's like. Okay so it is currently a Sunday night slash Monday morning and hell and a cell paper views on. No I'm not reacting to it. I just didn't feel like reacting to it pretty much. So I'm just giving this quick little update now because I've not vlogged at all this week because I literally I have not barely left the house at all this week because of how bad the weather's been. It is currently Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch inside the cell. Alright so I'm currently just about to start another comedy video. It's something that I haven't actually done for a while. It's a brand new comedy video that I haven't actually done but I'm hoping it'll go alright. It'll be already up when this video's out anyway. In case any of you guys are interested here's a tripod that I use and this is the Logitech C920, whenever it wants to focus. There we are, Logitech C920. And this is the program for it, basically. So I've got the preview of where I record what you lot see there on this program right here. This is Audacity, where I record the audio from this baby right here. So let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've just been flicking through Twitter. It's currently a Tuesday, it's 8th of October, and there has been a brand new Sony PlayStation 5 released which will launch in late 2020. The console, when I first saw it, it looks like something out of Star Wars. It literally looks like a ship that all the good guys go in basically. I do love the look of it. It's different. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Okay everyone, so it is currently a Thursday afternoon and it's that point of the year when it's starting to get darker at like 6, 7 p.m. and it's getting a lot cooler. So summer is right out the window and it is now in that Halloween and Christmas kind of season which I can't lie I do love it especially bonfire night so enough of that this afternoon I haven't been in a while I'm gonna have a trip into Newcastle what is going on everyone I've not done this for a little while let me give you guys a little update so it is currently the 20th of october and i've not picked up the camera for an entire week straight and literally to get the points straight i've not been well all week so pushing that to the side because i'm a lot better than what i was i'll tell you that and so let me show you what i was doing the week prior to me being ill. So the actual week prior to me being ill, I didn't do much, but I did actually go out on October 10th, which was World Metal Health Day actually. I had an idea in my head. I was gonna go and show you lot this sculpture that I thought was in Newcastle, but it was in a different city. And you might be wondering, how the hell did you figure that one out? It's because I basically asked someone who had been to see it and I was like where is it in Newcastle and then they said that it was in Middlesbrough which is like Newcastle's there in Middlesbrough is like there-ish basically so I couldn't make it. The worst part about it was it's that it wasn't even there at the time it had been taken away and what I was wanting to show you a lot was I'll put an image of it there and that was a knife angel for those of you that do not know it was an angel that had been constructed of all of the knives that had been used from knife crimes in Britain over the last, I don't know how many years. I saw, I saw a documentary about it like a while ago and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I might go to Newcastle <laughs> and show you that because I think people will find that interesting until I found out that it wasn't even there. Quick fact actually as well, that sculpture that you see right there, the amount of knives in that is 100,000. And another fact, that sculpture is 27 foot tall. That was my main aim for going into Newcastle that day and I didn't say it so I just thought I'd do this kind of thing and explain it to you. So later on that day I decided to go to one of the other bridges in Newcastle, another one. I'm just going to put it here. Look at this view right here. It is stupidly windy so I apologise if you can't hear us that well but that view is glorious. It's not a Geordie Stevo video without a time lapse.
bridge that I'm currently on, right, I'll explain more in a little bit, okay? Because I'm I'll explain it right now. So, this bridge in Newcastle, right, is known as the Lovelock Bridge, okay? So, from here, all the way down there, right, there is a bunch of Lovelocks. So, so when you're in a relationship, right, whatever gender you may be, and if you know that you're going to be official for, like, a while, and if you know that you found the one, get a padlock and put it on this bridge right here. Look, it literally goes all the way down right here, all the way down to here. By the way, when I say when you found the one, it'll be a bit awkward when you thought you found the one, you put the lock up, and then you split up. It is World Mental Health Day, so just do one thing and smile at someone. It literally could change their life, you don't even realise. In case anyone's actually interested as well, right, this bridge I've just been on is called the High Level Bridge. And that's what it looks like right there from the outside. Now, for anyone that's actually interested in a couple more facts about this bridge in Newcastle, the construction start date was the 12th of August 1847 and it finished construction June the 7th 1849 and it officially opened August 15th 1849. Not so far away then, just only a few years. So later on that week, I also did go and see the new, pretty sure you can all guess it already, Joker film with Joaquin Phoenix, whatever his name is. And I'll tell you what, it was insane. The film in general and the way he played the character was incredible. It's a must watch film. And that's about it, that's all I can think of saying. All right everybody, that is where I'm gonna end this video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to smash that thumbs up, leave a dislike. If you didn't like it, let me know how I can with these videos please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you a lot on the video peace